I would like to give a special shout out and thank you to Chuck the Schmuck Schumer. That is Senator Chuck the Schmuck Schumer, who is the Senate Majority Leader. Thank you for throwing Israel under the bus. Thank you for going against Netanyahu. Thank you for going against our staunchest ally in the Middle East and one of the staunchest allies in the world. Thank you for throwing Netanyahu under the bus because now everyone is backing him, even the far left. Everyone, there's this massive coalition, far left in Israel, obviously, the far left in America are a bunch of effing Hamas terrorists. Fight for them. Everyone now stands behind Israel again. On October 6th, there was massive, massive fighting, infighting going on in Israel and honestly going on throughout the world. The West versus, the, you know, the left versus the right. Insanity. October 7th put everyone on one page. Besides for the extreme, most crazy radicals, everyone was on the same exact page. We all stood by, we all stood behind Israel in their fight against radical terrorism. And, but then it started dying down as the months progressed and the protests in the streets were so loud. And then a little bit of infighting started happening. And then it started becoming again left versus right in Israel, in the United States, in the West. And it's gotten to a point where it's starting, you're starting to see fissures, you're starting to see cracks. And then Chuck the Schmuck comes and literally says that Netanyahu has got to go. And the right, the left, the middle, the center, the up, the down, religious, secular, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, they're suddenly all backing Netanyahu, all backing Israel, all backing everything now. All because Chuck the Schmuck tried to throw Israel under the bus. It backfired. Literally everyone got on board. Like even Biden said, I did not approve this. I heard about it, but I didn't approve it. And now Israel is about to invade Rafa. And everyone backs Israel now. Yesterday, everyone did not back Israel going into Rafa, finishing Hamas. There were a lot of people that did. But a lot of people had kind of backed off from being so pro-Israel. They said, you can't invade Rafa. There's so many civilians there. You can't do it. Today, everyone's back on board. Besides for the farest extremes on both sides, the horseshoe. That's the big turn of the devil. Now Israel will invade Rafa. They have a plan of evacuating 1.3 million citizens, if I'm not mistaken. They're evacuating the Gazans to center of Gaza now. They have a plan there. And guess what? Everyone backs this plan. Because Chuck Schumer took Kamala Harris's yellow school bus and just went over the Israeli government. And you know what people don't like? Is the United States government meddling in the affairs of other countries' governments. When we just gave Iran $10 billion yesterday, and we were in this secret negotiations with them to try to quell the Houthis' crazy, you know, shooting at our ships, and then we try to overthrow the Israeli government? Yeah, people don't like that on both sides of the aisle. And now we have a strong coalition to destroy the radical Islamist terrorists. And guess what? That equals destroying wokeism, DEI, crazy nonsense. So get ready. Chuck the Schmuck Schumer just threw his own party under the bus. It's going to be fun to watch. See you next video. Subscribe, comment, share, like. Don't forget to subscribe.